Hey everyone, Scotty Wick here, going to walk you through the rule set uh, and what all we have going here in Beta 31 of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire Pinball. Um, we got our intro going here, Rainbow Light Show, all the rest of the good stuff in Attract Mode. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start up a game and I'm just going to walk us through. So, uh, first thing, let's go ahead and... Uh, get under the glass here is uh, we've got this really fun uh, Harry on a broomstick and he's got his uh, he's got his Quidditch robes on uh, and that's just a little pin that uh, the, the ball pushes as you launch um, which is pretty fun and then returns itself um, and uh, yeah so this is going to follow the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire storyline um, so it's basic uh, focused around the Triwizard Tournament. I chose this movie to start with um, because the Triwizard Tournament just made for really great video, as well as there's three of them, you know, three multi balls. It's just it, it all worked out really well. Plus, uh, you know, this movie's just really fun. So um, you'll have those three, and we'll talk through each individual. You have the Golden Egg, Lake Rescue, and the Maze Escape. And under that, you have the four house. Uh, the four house modes, so we have the uh, Quidditch World Cup, we have the Golden A or uh, the Goblet of Fire, we have the Unforgivable Curses, and then we have the Escape the Death Eaters, um, and those are going to be started by lighting your Potter lights. Uh, and then under that we have our Orders of Merlin. Uh, so Orders of Merlin are going to be like uh, Star Trek, those are your supers, your double points. So the first one will be double points double ramp points then it'll be double target points and then uh, double orbit points which you can see on the back glass on the bottom left is where it's going to count those for you um, and, uh, and then we've got uh, the battle of Voldemort if you were able to finish all these you'd get to Voldemort uh, for the epic battle uh, at the end of the movie there but um, that's not coded yet so we won't have that to look at today um, plus, let's be honest, it's going to be really hard to get to, so you might never see it. Hopefully you will. Hopefully you've got that uh, skill set and you can get there. But uh, we've got Mad-Eye Moody's eyeball watching us here, which is pretty fun. He's going to watch us. It'd be similar to like the, the head and party zone. Um, so it's following you there. And then if you hit it, it's going to do his eyeball wiggle like it does in the movie, which is pretty fun. We've got our uh, essentially just simple slings there with a sling sling lights on them alrighty so let's actually let's just go from um, let's let's uh, let's pop into a mode we'll just do the goblet of fire mode first we're not actually gonna go through every mode but we'll just uh, we'll pop into one here and kind of talk about what all is going on here this one specifically is going to be a building uh, a building mode um, which is great because you can just uh, make a lot of points you see we have our R RGB um, GIs so we've popped into to our purple and so we have to hit the goblet here you'll see there I got a mode jackpot 200 this one builds so I can go bigger and bigger next one's gonna be four uh, next is going to be six, so we could just rampage that. It comes right back to the same flipper, so it's really encouraging you to uh, just go to town on that. Uh, we also have sweet videos going along with all of this, um, and you can see our timer there. We got nine seconds, eight seconds. Obviously, we've got a sweet light display going on. Our flashers there, trying to really make this thing pop. Oh, I just missed that last shot. Um, timer's gone, mode's out. There will be a countdown in the future of five, four, all that kind of stuff, but still working on some of those voiceovers and obviously the audio and the video sounds, all that stuff. Still got a lot of work to do there, but, um, you know, getting there. So the first one, let's talk about the golden egg. Uh, that's going to be uh, where you're trying to get your firebolt to get to you so that you can escape the dragon, get the golden egg. Uh, we've got that here on the capture, capture, uh, captured ball. I don't think I can fill all these up with that actually hitting it. Turn off my ball control here and uh, just try to get this uh, the real way, or at least get it lit the real way. There's one shot to it. I can backhand it. There we are. That's how you do that. 
that is how you do that. So now I'm going to cheat it, take my first lock. Uh, we've got our ball lock animation that comes in there. And uh, now I'm going to turn it off and see if I can be as um, on point as I was at that last one. Damn, doing work right now. All right, one more. Should probably get it. Dang, that is how you do that. Uh, we've got our Death Eater here. We're going to get rid of this this guy, so let's smash him in the face. You can see our Death Eaters went down by one. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, get this. So on uh, this multi-ball, we are going to be you know, trying to outsmart the dragon. So we're going to, it'll be a skipping shot. So we'll hit center, then sides, then center, then sides uh, to try to get away from that Hungarian horn tail that's chasing us down. So let's go ahead and start this up. And, um, and then I'm just going to try to play it for real. Uh, and then I will uh, try to do some talking in between, but I think we need eight shots to escape the Hungarian horn tail and get the mode complete. Pretty tough to do. Um, but uh, we're going we're gonna to see. Maybe we can do it. Harry, Harry, Harry. All right. So this is going to be a three ball. So I got one there. That was a nice start. Let's see if I can get one of these ramps. Um, really short ball save on this one. Um, it's uh, most of the time, a lot of people can get it a couple times in a game. There we go, got our second one. Um, so it's not, we're not focused on keeping you alive too long. Um, let's see, come on. Oh, now I'm missing that shot. Get it. Backhand that. Nope, I'm missing my shots. So we got our kickback there, there we are. Got us another jackpot. And uh, let's get a third one, fourth one. I mean, we are doing work. There we are. So I actually finished it. I actually got enough shots, which uh, we can see there that the golden egg is now lit. Um, and I got a big old pile of points for doing that. So anyways, I'm going to let this drain. I know, sad, sad story. But so we can see I finished my mode. I finished my uh, Triwizard Tournament. I was the champion there. I got the light. Um, when the videos are more done, there will be a, you know, a super jackpot video where Harry's holding up the egg and all this other good stuff. But uh, don't have that just yet. Um, still working on some of those things. Uh, Lake Rescue is going to be the next one where we are trying to get as many 75 spins. You see up at the top center of the... Uh, back glass, you can see it counting those. Um, so we're trying to get 75, and once we do, we have like a rescue lock ready. Uh, one note on the mode is you can bring a mode into a jackpot. You can't cash a mode while you're or in a multi-ball. You can't cash a mode while, uh, like you can't get into a mode while you're in a multi-ball. It will be locked at that point, but you can take it with you, um, which is obviously the pro play if you can get those lined up and you can get it. In there, you'll be great. Um, you set up pretty great to get a whole bunch of uh, good ones. But anyway, so Lake Lock, or Lake Rescue Lock, uh, super fun. It's actually a table lock, so pretty scary. The next player can steal it from you, um, which is uh, kind of the point. Uh, so, But uh, it's also one that after locking one ball, you can start it, but you're going to get only 1x jackpots while you're playing in it. But if you're feeling like you've got this, like pretty confident, you can lock two. Now I'm hitting double jackpots when I get in there, and I can all go all the way to three, and uh, triple jackpots now when I hit that. Um, and so that that obviously would be pretty fantastic to have um, all those going at once. Um, that would be obviously really fun so i'm going to do this now i'm going to be taking both i'm going to since i have both lit i will take a mode into uh the lake so let's do that and look at what that looks like we're going to get the quidditch world cup scene first because we're going to light quidditch uh, so quidditch is going to be the two center lanes um, so it's going to go ahead and light those and then um, again i'm going to turn off ball control and play this um, and then it's going to go to our scene for the uh, lake rescue. 
and um, and then we're going to get both lights while we're in this which is really nice so we'll be able to see up the two center ramps we have our uh, blue and purple flashing lights those are our mode lights we have uh, lake rescue is really different um, in the fact that um, in the fact that we have our spinners increase our jackpot value and then our left orbit caches it and it's all times the amount of balls that are on the play field so it's like a really kind of a, a different multi-ball experience um, which I like I think it's, it's a pretty fun and different way to go about uh, to go about a multi-ball but it is uh, it is on that uh, far orbit which means that uh, for all those people out there doing the double smash, uh, double smash life, it's uh, going to be pretty hard for you to to finish this one um, because uh, if you double smash those flippers, you're not going to get any jackpots over there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drain out here um, and uh, and uh, well, I. Uh, had an error in the code. Hey, it's a beta, y'all. Not through all of my, uh, not through all the code yet, but I'm going to keep this going, and uh, we will talk through um, the last couple multi balls here. And um, let me get this started up again. All right, so we got our ball control here. I'm going to go ahead and jump us in. The last. Uh, maze escape here is the next one so what you have to do there is get four shots to each ramp there's that ramp you can see the lights lighting up two three four and then we get to actually go through the back of the play field uh, the back wall we got a lock in there let's go ahead and shoot a second lock got that lock in there and uh, and then this third one. So what we're going to be doing is we have to follow uh, the directions and to get through the maze. Uh, so we're going to have a, like jackpots to the right, jackpots to the left, jackpot center. Uh, we're going to try to follow those to get out of the maze. I'm going to go ahead and turn off ball control again and try to just play this one, see how well I can do. a scary one but I guess they're all pretty scary actually this movie's pretty dark which is kind of why I like it so it's gonna spit them out from behind the back wall there we go and uh, I'm gonna see what we can do as far as get some uh, get some jackpots here if I, if I can hit my shots there we are there's one now we're shooting uh, left and no it. No, don't drain. Okay, we still got still got two in play here. There we are. Now we're moving along. All right, we've got a we've got the uh, red is going to be a shot through the back wall, as you see right there. Um, and that's the end of that. Uh, but those shots through the back wall, are pretty sweet. Um, okay, let's I'll turn back on uh, the control here and. Um, Let's look at the wand, multi-ball wand is going to be based on your combos. You can see on the back glass to the left of the logo, I've got 10 combos left that I need to get. So let's um, let's do that. Let's get some. So when you see the snitches there going gold, that's how you know it's combo. Uh, combos are ready on those. So those are your little combo lights. So we're just going to spin through uh, here. Uh, you can see it counting down. We need four more, three more. Two more, one more, and one lock is ready. So one lock is going to be here. Um, it's pretty fun. It's going to do a whole uh, animation, drop through the plastics and lock behind the flipper. So drops through, locks behind the flipper, and um, let's let's just let's uh, keep hitting our combos here, and we'll just get into the second one. So all these, these balls are going to fly out from under the flipper for this multi-ball uh, because the balls, uh, that's where the kicker and the ball lock would be for this. So this one I don't have video for yet that will be coming, um, but it is just kind of a frenzy. So let's, uh, let's play it, check out. And now I'm going to turn off ball control and just try to play this one for real. 
Alrighty, let's do this. All right, so we've got we've got uh, a ball here. I failed on my upper flipper there. Um, we have quite the light show um, going on this one. Well, I guess it's not that impressive if you don't hit any jackpots. There we are. So that you will see something that I'm working on still is that uh, at some points the flashers get a little. They get tired, <laughs> um, and so they'll just stop currently or stopping uh, firing because they are overloaded with uh, too much action, honestly. Uh, but uh, working on that, we'll have that uh, touched up soon. Um, and so uh, there we go. We got uh, got through wand, and um, yeah. So that kind of takes us through the table. We have Lake again. We could do more modes. We're sitting on Death Eaters. This one's pretty fun. Um, let's uh, let's check it out. This one's going to pop up those Death Eaters. And we are going to be trying to smash, smash them in the face. Um, it's a really cool scene there and going after once we clear them both. Ah! Once we clear both, then we'll be able to, uh, they'll, they'll fill up again. Uh, and this really helps you get to your your Death Eaters. Oh yeah, cleared them both. So similar just to uh, Trolls in Medieval Madness. But uh, anyways, um, that's the table, that's where we're at. Still working through a bunch of stuff, but hope you guys enjoy that. Um, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty much a lot of things going on in this table so the bug testing is going to be pretty heavy for me obviously trying to make this uh not break for everyone but hope you enjoyed this look forward to uh being able to share it but uh probably still a few weeks off before i'm ready for that um otherwise uh, you know it'll just all break a lot but anyways hope you guys uh, enjoyed this and look forward to talking and, uh, about it more all right bye